Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. Very excited. Behind me is the first field to be cut from my permissions. Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of future videos and the live Wednesday stream via YouTube every Wednesday, as I said, 9 p.m. UK time. Okay, Dias, what should we use? I'm gonna start, well, I'm gonna start with Gary's Ultimate, maybe knock frequency down a bit because the soil here doesn't get ploughed and it's a bit compact and then I might try hot we'll see how we go it's been a bit of a break and I can't wait to get cracked into it whether I can get a spade into it because of the last few weeks of hot weather is another matter but come with me and see what we can find let's hope we find some good stuff thanks to my latest subscribers much your grassy ass, and your names will be in the credit scroll towards the end of the video. Thanks again, much appreciated. Anyway, we'll catch you out there. All right, here we go then. It's a combine just round the grain store over there. Uh, I haven't decided what to call this field as yet. It's had, looks like barley, and there's sort of a narrow, narrow field then opens out <clears throat> must confess not to have done much to this field so i've not had easy access to it you have to come through the farm and that's normally got a barrier up outside of ours i can find the signals but to be fair i can't i can't get in the ground i've just been trying to dig down here for <coughs> the last five minutes i've got a good signal down there but it is, it is concrete, it is just concrete. So anyway, thanks for joining me. And if I find anything, and if I can get out of the ground, you'll be the first to know. Ooh, sounds like the combine has fired up again. Uh, 10 minutes later, I managed to get down about three inches. Oh, just to find a bit of aluminium. Oh, there you go. You've got to dig them and it's going to be tough 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 all right catch on next one well going back to uh gary's hot which is a stock program number nine on a dash remote uh because uh it gives me better feedback on signals which are more likely to be rubbish but just an example i don't know if you can see this just look at the ground you can get spade right into the cracks the ground is absolutely crack to heck uh, and is that stiff I'm not surprised people are losing spades but anyway we'll crack on you can only get as low as the stubble is and I think this stubble is about six inches so some is a bit lower but you know you lose a bit of depth but you just you can't help it obviously that's the way they cut the, uh, the crops so just get it as low as you can and uh, just crack on well, nothing really certain to dig signal-wise. See the fields opened up now. Uh, it's not the biggest of his fields, but um, it's enough. You know, it's strange. You want to find the signal, but then you just don't want to try and dig it up. That's really weird. Um, I don't think I've known a year that's been this hard to dig. Normally, you can get certainly this, this spade into it. But you just you can't even get an inch down it's uh, you do need a some sort of pneumatic drill to get in here anyway enough moaning i shall crack on a bit longer it's it's breezy but it's very very humid so we'll see what we're going to do i'm going to walk up the side of this field as i said i've not really done this field much at all i might just do a, a couple of crisscrosses uh, and just see if there's anything or any areas which are better than others so crack on and that's what we can do. Look at that, can you see that? 
you can literally get your hand inside them cracks ridiculously dry need a good rain all right that's a uh, that's 85 uh, luckily it was just about a couple inches down uh, oh, I think I can see it. Oh, she just can't, she just can't break it. <laughs> anyway, if I could pick it out of my fingers, I would. I don't know what it is. It's not obviously not a coin or anything, but it's uh, could be a shotgun cartridge or a, we just can't get into it. It's like concrete, acts like concrete. thought of a, a cartridge uh, reasonably big one it's not like a 223 little one so all that is unfortunately is a spent cartridge I don't know what it could be 303 not sure it's a big one I've got a 70 odd down there but you just look at it it just Feels like you're just trying to get through concrete. I'm sort of trying to choose the signals which I'm happy with, and I've been leaving stuff which I'm a bit dubious about, which I normally would have dug, but you just can't, it just certainly can't push the spade in. It just feels like concrete. Anyway, enough of this. I'll crack on and see what it is. I see I'm going to get caught out a lot here. Luckily, just an inch or two down, but uh, I'm fortunate another cartridge. It's big. I'm just guessing that's 303. I'm not sure. Is it a rifle? Bigger than a normal one. Anywho, one lump of lead and two of these spent cartridges, so uh, we're doing quite well at the moment. Okay, at about... Oh, how long we had? An hour... I'll just come along the uh, hedge line here. Uh, got a nice shady tree, but I'm not getting a heck of a lot along a hedge line. So just for experimentation, the field actually widens out over there, and there's like a little um, coppice, little load of trees there. So I think I might just just do a few random crisscrosses and uh, and, and see what we get. I know I keep banging on about the cracks, but Look at it, seriously. Look, look at this. Full spade depth cracks, but... Anywho, heading towards that copse and just doing a, a few crisscrossing. It's uh, very hard going. Whew. It's uh, beginning not to be fun at the moment. <laughs> it's uh, about 27, 28 and you just can't, there's signals out there, which is an annoying thing, but um, just can't get into them. So I'm gonna stay out here as long as my water bottle lasts. As soon as that's finished, that's it, I'm gonna go, because you're gonna get seriously dehydrated out here. Uh, I've just gone around the edge, cut across a few times. I'm at this sort of little copsy woody thing um, that's quite overgrown with a ditch around that. So I'm just going to go as long as my water bottle hangs out, then I'm going to call it a day. So uh, it's a bit of a non result, but at least I got out here and had a go and, and failed. <laughs> See you when we get back at the truck. Right, that was an experience that I've never had before. I'm not as bad as this anyway. Whew. The drinks bottles run out, so um, I think it's wise to come or finish the uh, adventure because um, that will get dehydrated. It's very hot, a slight breeze, and uh, found naff all really. Well, I say we found naff all. There were certainly signals to dig out there, but unfortunately, you just couldn't get a spade in. And the ones I did persevere with uh, turned out to be two bits of lead, a bit of silver foil 
and two uh, possibly 303 spent cartridges. So not a raging success but not totally unexpected either. So thanks for joining me. Sorry it was a poor show and uh, we'll try better next time. Let's pray for some rain. Positive thinking for some rain. A few days a nice soft rain during the night maybe that'll soften it up. And if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of future videos and the Wednesday live stream uh, via YouTube 9pm UK time. See you there. Thanks very much again and we'll catch you in the next video. Well, I think seriously that unless we get a rain, I'm up a certain creek without a paddle. Seriously, seriously hard. I've never known it to be this hard before. You just can't get spade in at all. Normally you can get through the top inch or two of crust and then you've got some nice sort of softer earth to get through. But they uh, absolutely, it's concrete, literally like concrete. There were some quite tasty signals on that field. I'm object to name that field. I thought they call it a concrete field, but there were some nice signals, but physically just couldn't get to them. So uh, just to try and bear that in mind. So I think that until we get serious rain, I think most of my um, fields, which are going to be harvested, cut, whatever, are going to be no good to me. Sad to say, really. So... I'm either going to, get to make videos about other other stuff until we have a rain. Anyhow, thanks for joining us. Sorry it couldn't be uh, more fruitful, but uh, conditions just uh, wouldn't allow. So anywho, thanks for being with us, and we'll catch you hopefully after a good rain in the next video.